and welcome to episode 42 of Folk from the Boat. I hope you're very well this week and we have some beautiful weather for moving the boat. I hope you can see that I'm driving slowly along so I don't crash whilst talking to you. Um, oh, and I can just see like a tiny dinghy that I need to avoid. Um, <laughs> okay, yes, all, all is well again. <laughs> um, I think last time that we spoke we were moored really close to the M25 which is a big motorway which circles London sort of 20 miles out, it's like eight lanes of noise um, and we moored directly underneath the bridge for a bit so that we could protect the boat from the rain um, because there's been a lot, of, a lot of storms and we were sanding and getting the rust off with my wonderful parents help and uh, but it was incredibly noisy and then something even noisier happened which was quite exciting which was in the night there was a, a rave under the bridge and I was a bit worried <laughs> that I'd parked my car there but, uh, but luckily the ravers were really lovely and polite and they were just sort of politely raving around the car and no, no damage done or no more than usual it's, it's a kind of old banger, it's, it's, it's alright um, so we then decided somewhere quieter to take you um, for recording for you and also something really cool I mentioned a lady called Lucy Treacher came yesterday to record some hurdy-gurdy for a new computer game so if you're into that then I shall point you towards it because it it's such a fun soundtrack I mean I'm sure you played for the actions <laughs> really but, but yeah that was really cool so uh, we're going to be taking you to quieter places and quieter bridges and the next thing is that I will be boring you with how to get rust off the boat. So I hope you enjoy this journey. Okay and we are moored up in a nice quiet spot and I'll show you some of the culprit here, the rust that I'm going to be sanding off for the next few days. And I also want to show you how we navigate around on the boat. This is my map of the River Lee and as you can see this navigational uh, part of the river it's, it's kind of a case of left or right, no special equipment required and I should tell you why <laughs> I'm why I'm telling you this. I want to credit Amade van Gas as well with doing all of, uh, all of the research for today because today's tune it's uh, going to be played on Nickel Harper, it's from Delana in Sweden and it's called Vorvende Friska, it's a Bachmes Polska and it's, it's pretty cool. It was written by a man, Orca Erland Jonsson, who was a self-taught musician and also an engineer. And he developed an improvement for the compass that he took a patent out on, which was eventually sold to uh, Silver, a Swedish outdoor company. And I believe Amade has or used to have one of their compasses. So yeah, a man of many talents and I hope you'll enjoy his Polska. It is, it's pretty fun to navigate through it. <laughs> 